A Huntsville family is still searching for answers tonight in their son's death. WFO 48's Claudia Peppenhorst spoke to family members today about how they made the difficult decision to exhume his body. After 13 years of unanswered questions, Terrell Spencer's family made the difficult decision to exhume his body, which they said was necessary to give them closure. In 2010, Tyrell Spencer collapsed and stopped breathing at the Richard Shower Center. He was rushed to the hospital but did not survive. Spencer's mother, Dion Max, says no autopsy was ever done on her son. Max says this was due to confusion between Huntsville Hospital and the pathology lab. Max says that she is legally only allowed to say that she came to an agreement with Huntsville Hospital, but she tells me that it was a hard and emotional decision to sign the paperwork. When I signed the documents, is I felt like I signed my soul away because it wasn't even enough to cover the exhumation. And that's, I didn't, it was never about money for me. I just wanted them to right their wrong and exhume my son. Max set up a fundraiser to pay for the process, and within a week, she had raised enough money to move forward. I'm feeling so many emotions. As one, I shouldn't have to have gone through this, but I'm so thankful for the fight in me because I couldn't let it go. And to see my son's casket raised up out of this grave, and I know that I'm going to get some kind of closure. I'm overjoyed. Max says the biggest unknown is the condition of Tyrell's body. It may be too late to determine his cause of death, but Max says if there could be a takeaway from this situation, it's to keep fighting. If I had stopped, if I had given up, and giving into the pain and everyone telling me just to let it go. I wouldn't be in this moment and this and this is a very important moment for me. So just please know that it's okay to fight even if you're fighting by yourself. I'm Claudia Peppenhorst reporting 48 on your side.